Jason is relatively new to MS and is working at Griffith University and has a, has a scholarship that's being supported by MSRA, uh, specifically looking at five genetic areas of MS. So Jason McKenzie. Um, my investigation at the moment is looking at blood and brain tissue samples, which I'm very fortunate to have um, uh, to obtained a lot of. I've got over 100 brain tissue samples from MS sufferers and approximately half of that for um, controls. The aim of my study, the main aim of my study is to investigate gene expression in MS tissue. I have um, plaque, um, white matter and grey matter. So I'm going to look at these tissues and see what um, genes have been turned off and what genes have been suppressed in MS. From there, I'll, um, I'll be able to quantitate those changes by using another, uh, another experimental um, process which is re um, related to its quantitative PCR. It'll tell us if a gene is um, 200 times fold expressed compared to normal or underexpressed by 50, like it'll actually give us a quantitative value. From there, I'll take the top 20 genes and I'll go on and do further experimentation, which I have already um, actually been doing a, a little bit of, looking at such genes as the sex hormones, which um, we found some interesting results in as well, and we're actually getting that done in another population just to clarify our results. Because um, because of it, we did have a, a positive finding, we have to get another population to back up our finding before we can actually publish on that. The technology that I'm using is this Illumina Beta Ray. Um, it, it's, it's a comprehensive screening approach that is far beyond anything that we've had in the past. At present, I'm going to be doing 40 cases and 20 controls, so that'll give us a nice picture of what's going on. Also, the gene exper um, expression experiments that have been done in the past, um, there has been a lot done on blood, but not a lot done on brain tissue because um, as you can imagine, it is, it is quite a process to be able to get the brain tissue to be able to do this work. In our lab and also in other labs, this, the same um, techniques that I'm using have been actually shown to show genes that have been implicated in ovarian and breast cancer and a few other diseases. So it's, it's a very interesting technology that is, is becoming more and more um, accessible due to cost. The cost has come down a lot. It's in the past, I've only looked at say 3,000 genes, I'll be looking at 35,000 genes. So hopefully we should uncover some of the mysteries of MS in this study. After I've, um, I've done this gene expression, we'll also look at genomic DNA. You also have to do some, a lot of staining to know exactly what lesions you're looking at because there's several different stages the lesions can be in. And it is very, very important to actually have it classified important, um, in the correct way. I've spent a lot of time actually optimising the techniques. RNA, um, which you have to use for the gene expression studies, is a very, very sensitive um, substance and can be degraded or um, basically destroyed with the smallest um, error in the experimentation. Hopefully this will open up avenues that or pinpoint or support um, other studies that have shown their findings in the past.